Okay, um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I go about solving um, this back problem we had in class. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, try to do it from the beginning um, uh, and show you, show you kind of what I do. So the first thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to write my torque equation. I know that I need to write my t torque equation. So, I mean, again, we always have two, two equations in any kind of statics problems that we can use. Um, we either use the sum of forces uh, in x is equal to 0, the sum of forces in y is equal to 0, or the sum of torques is equal to 0. <coughs> I always start with the torques because often, as we talked about before, you can eliminate some, um, you know, some number of variables. Um, uh, the... Um, the uh, the problem that I actually asked in class was that we actually were picking up um, you know plus the like you know 50 pound or let's say you know 20 kilogram um, uh, you know mass or something like that um, and so you know we had let's say a box or something like that that we were lifting up um, all that does is that you see there are these different weights that we basically have. Um, this W, uh, you know, this this W, um, uh, this this W T is the weight of our torso. Um, this W A is the weight of our arms, and this W H is the weight of our head. Um, when you add this twenty pound mass, you can see this from this this picture right here. Um, that just adds um, to uh, the weight of the arm. So this just has you know this additional twenty kilograms times. Uh, nine point eight you know, seconds squared, or, or just adds basically that um, that extra mass to our arms. Um, you notice here uh, it it it's telling us our weights in terms of our total weight. Um, again, I'm just going to use my normal my total weight. Um, my weight is you know seventy kilograms times nine point eight meters per second squared. Um, you know, or around I mean, it's around seven hundred. So. I got my calculator here, so I'm actually going to do the right numbers this time. Uh, so 686 newtons. Okay, and so and then all these other weights, uh, the weight of my head, the weight of my um, arms, uh, the weight of my torso, et cetera, are just going to be um, some fraction, uh, 0 0.07 times this, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, okay, so um, as I'm looking at this, I see a bunch of different things. So so we're looking at um, the uh, this... Um, this system, basically what they're showing is that this muscle, you see this is the FM here, is pulling backwards. All right, that's, that's coming back here. All right, it's pulling backwards. And against these masses that we have, the masses are our arms, um, our, our head, our torso, are all pulling down on us. Um, and then the thing that keeps, basically, so you notice there's only one force pointing backwards, there has to be a force from our vertebrae. Um, sorry, that should say force of vertebrae. Uh, force of our vertebrae pushing back, basically, that keeps our back from flying backwards, kind of past our, our nice green shorts there. Um, and so, uh, so that's this FV, and that's the thing we're going to eventually be trying to solve. Um, okay, let's get rid of all that because it's very busy. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to start, and this seems really counterintuitive, but I'm actually not going to start uh, with finding the force of that vertebrae. I'm actually going to start by eliminating it by actually setting my, um, I'm going to actually set my uh, origin actually right right at that. And that's going to get rid of that, but I, I, I know in the end this, this, this will probably actually be the best thing to do. Um, so if I do, go to calculate my torques, oops, that should be a tau. So if I go to calculate my torques, let's turn this back to black. So if I add all my torques up, I don't have any torques coming from my FV because again, that's at a radius of zero. Um, but I do have torques coming from my all my other things. So I have the torque having to do with uh, my, um, my torso, or I guess they call it trunk, whatever. Um, the torus, the the um, the one coming from my uh, arms, the one coming from my head, um, and then there's this one coming from the muscles that's going backwards. 
I want to point out that um, uh, if we're doing our correct sign convention, if you notice the weight of the, the, the torso, if I draw a circle around my origin, you notice that that's actually going in a clockwise direction. And it's true for all of these. And so actually all of those, since they're all clockwise, should actually be negative. So let's go ahead and get those signs right. And then it turns out that the only positive one is, um, the only positive one is this FM, the muscles, because that's going to take, that's going to basically go in a counterclockwise direction um, around, uh, around our origin. So... Okay, so we basically have all of those torques. Um, we can actually write that, and those, of course, are equal to zero. We can actually write um, uh, what those are. This is minus um, the torque of the trunk. Um, I think they give us that distance of 36 meters, or 36 centimeters. Turns out you don't need to convert this because everything actually cancels out in the end, so it doesn't matter. And then we just need the weight of uh, the torso. The weight of the torso is 0.46 times uh, my weight that I have up there. Um, so that's that. Then we and we also need the sine of the angle between uh, the um, between uh, the radius, which is this. That's the radius, and this is the force. So it's at 60 degree angle. So you take sine of 60 degrees. And then we also take minus, now we do the same thing with the arms. Um, again, the arms are going to be, um, we have a distance of, uh, looks like 36 plus 12, so 48 centimeters. Times the weight of the arms. The weight of the arms are going to be 0.12 times my weight, but then again we have to add this, um, we have to add that 20 kilograms which in weight is 196 newtons. And then we have to multiply that by, um, again, sine of 60. Uh, I'll put that sine of 60 on here. Sine of 60. And then we still have to, we still have two more. We're running out of room, I need to learn to write smaller. Um, we also have, uh, we also have the head. So we have uh, 36 plus 12 plus 24, so it's 48 plus 24, or uh, um, it's uh, 72, 72 centimeters um, times the weight of the head. Um, the weight of the head is uh, um, 0 0.07 times W. And then we just need to add the mus, oh, and this also has a sign. Degrees, and then we need to add the muscle, um, which is uh, um, FM um, times. Uh, let's do the same way we've been doing. It. Thirty-six centimeters times FM times sine twelve degrees, because the angle between the muscle and R for the muscle is twelve degrees, as seen in the diagram. And that's all equal to zero. I know it looks complicated, but if you notice, the only unknown we have is this FM right here. All right, so, um, so, let's, go back there. so let's go ahead and solve for FM. Um, and if I do a lot of math really quickly, uh, I'm gonna just, um, uh, <coughs> it's equal to minus 36 times 0.46 times uh, 686 newtons, uh, times sine of 60, sine of 60 is 0.866, um, and then I subtract 48 times 0.12 times 686 plus one nine six. All right. Um, that's just two seventy eight newtons times point eight six six. 
um, and then minus 72 times 0.07 times 6848 um, newtons um, times 0.866 um, plus uh, and that's it for that and then we divide that all by 36 um, and negative 36 I guess technically um, times sine of 12 degrees which is 0.208 all right, and then if we do all of that, let's put that all into our calculator. There's a lot of numbers. Hopefully I get it right. Divided by. We get a final answer of uh, the force that the muscles are applying is 3,256.8 newtons. Um, uh, I'm not going to double check that, but um, let's just hope that I got that right. Um, it looks largely right. Um, Okay, so um, so that's the first thing. Um, so, but that's not what we were trying to find. We we're trying to find the force of the um, on the vertebrae. Well, now we've run out of our torque equations. We're done with those. Now we actually have to go to our sum of forces equations. Um, before I do that, I just want to point out one quick thing about um, uh, the way that we're going to do this. Um, we had some discussion in our various classes about um, which ones to break into X and Y. I, I've decided that I'm just going to have our normal coordinate system of X and Y. But that means that it turns out I'm going to need to know this angle, uh, which is 72 degrees. It's just 60 plus 12 degrees. Um, that also tells me, incidentally, that the since that's the angle with that perpendicular, Tells me that this angle uh, is um, is uh, 18 degrees. So the 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 angle between um, the horizontal and FM is 18 degrees. Um, you can work that out if you look at this geometry, um, and that's going to become important in a second. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is look at FBX. So the sum of forces in the X is equal to, you notice there's an FVX, which we don't know, There's and there's an FMX, which we're going to put minus, it's going backwards, and that's just going to be FM times cosine of 18 degrees, and again it's 18 degrees because that's what that angle is. Um, you could also, if you'd rather, you could call it um, a sine of 72 degrees. Um, either one is correct. Okay, and that's all that's in the x-direction. You see there's only fv and fm in the x-direction. Um, and so that's equal to zero. Or fvx is equal to fm cosine of 18 degrees. And again, now that we have fm, we can get, uh, we can get um, fvx pretty quickly. So it's 3, 2, um, Three two five six point eight times cosine of eighteen, or three thousand ninety seven point four newtons. Okay, and now we just need F E Y. And again, we can just do the sum of forces in the y direction. Um, and again, that's just equal to uh, F V Y. 
um, minus F M sine of 18 degrees. Um, it's minus because FM is pointing both minus in the, neg in the x direction and in the negative y direction. Um, and then it's just minus WT um, minus WA minus um, WH. That's how we go to zero. Um, so FEY is just equal to, uh, you know, all of all of this basically. Um, so it's just equal to uh, FM. We already found three thousand two hundred fifty-six point eight um, times sine eighteen degrees. The weight of the torso um, is just uh, is just point four. Or the weight of the trunk is point four six times my weight, which is just three fifteen. Uh, we're going to just add these, 315.6 newtons, plus um, the weight of the arms, 0 0.12 times my weight. Again, we also have to add that um, that 20 kilogram mass. That's 20, so that's going to be 278. And then finally, we just need uh, the weight of the head, which is 0 0.07 times um, my mass, which is going to be 48. These are all newtons. Okay, and so if we go ahead and calculate it out, 3, 2, 5, 6, 1, 8, sine of 18, plus um, 3.5.6, plus 278, plus 48, gives us um, 1,648 for it in Y. And then to get FV, we just need the square root of FX squared plus FY squared. And that's just going to be equal to um, square root of 3097 squared plus 1648 squared gives us 3,500, whoops, 508 newtons as the force. <coughs> so <coughs> the thing that's interesting, again, and that's that's it, we could find the angle of Fe as well if we wanted to by doing tangent, but this, the, this was the main answer we wanted to get, um, which was what um, the force is. Again, the thing that's interesting to notice is that um, is that basically by by putting um, by by lifting uh, this um, you know this uh, this small mass of twenty kilograms, um, we put an enormous amount of force on our lower vertebrae, um, you know thirty five hundred newtons uh, on our vertebrae, um, really bad for our back, um, can very easily cause ruptures, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and this is why you generally shouldn't lift with your back, um, and and why uh, we end up having having problems when we try to. Um, I think that's about all I have for you right now. Um, this answer seems a little different than I feel like the answer we got in the one class. Please check my math and make sure I've done it all correctly. But the general idea is still the same. Uh, which is that you just do your torques, you do your forces, you make sure you get all your angles correct, um, and then you get your final answer in the end. I hope that was helpful. I'm sorry it was a little long, but it's a long problem. Um, and uh, good luck looking at all these uh, interesting types of problems.